40,000 developers and industry executives gathered here in Las Vegas this week. Among the topics discussed, cloud computing, HPC, IoT, including a bunch of new product announcements, hackathons, and yes, even a little bit of fun. I'm Brian Westbrook, inside the Intel booth, inside the convention center. You're watching Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. I'm joined by Miles Kingston. You have the fun job, the general manager of Smart Home at Intel. First, tell me what a general manager of Smart Home does. We're very much focused on improving the experience in the home and enabling new kind of richer smart home experiences. Today, we kind of feel like the home is actually just really connected and it's not yet smart and we're kind of trying to accelerate that transition. We're really excited about vision moving forward and uh, Amazon just announced today their deep lens camera, so we've been working very closely with them on that. We're very excited about it. You know, it's the world's first deep learning enabled wireless camera. For that, Intel provided an Atom processor which does all of the local compute to run the vision processing workloads. We also had a uh, deep learning toolkit as well as a compute library for uh, deep neural networks. So we really believe that the vision is the next step. And then both our, our audio technologies and our speech technologies as well as vision really have an AI component built into them. How is artificial intelligence so vital to the future of cloud computing? Well, I think it's that workload that just brings together the best of what cloud can offer. We have the ability in public cloud to store massive amounts of data uh, very cost effectively, have the compute capacity to turn it into business insights, whether that's for cloud service providers' internal use, serving up ads or uh, recommendation engines, or their own supply chain and logistics, to creating these new services for customers. When the cost of computing becomes lower and it's easier to access, people do more with it. We are seeing so much growth across the public cloud due to new workloads, artificial intelligence, immersive media, AR, VR, gaming, and network transformation. All of that is driving this massive growth from big companies like Amazon to smaller. There's so much data, so many new devices, so many people, there's an opportunity for everyone. We're a nonprofit that works um, in building new technology to stop child sexual abuse. One of the most important types of features we can have in our products is facial recognition and age progression to help find missing and exploited children. Um, and we've been partnered with Intel in helping make that a reality. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable experience for us to apply our AI and machine learning capabilities to a problem that really helps children. So what we did is we created a very custom AI. It's not a standard facial recognition capability. It was actually trained with pairs of uh, images of children at different ages so that it could automatically incorporate age progression and differences in clothing and hair to be able to recognize a child across the, all those dimensions. What are some of the cool things that are happening in this space, maybe even outside of Intel, that you're excited about? So one of the oldest industries out there is, is farming. And uh, you might think, you know, how does AI interact with farming? Well, it turns out we can actually use computer vision techniques to assess the state of crops in a very uh, uh, methodical way and take the, the particular action that makes sense. And just by doing this consistently, we can actually use less fertilizer and, and you know, fewer pesticides and actually increase crop yields. So it's just removing the variability of humans and you know humans get tired and all of these kinds of things. We just can do a much better job with that. It's, it's just a data-driven thing. And so I think it's a great example of how AI just makes the world better and more efficient. And we can feed more people. Like, you know, all of these things are positive. So Saffron is a form of artificial intelligence that is based on the way the human brain learns and reasons from data. Our whole mission is to help companies, businesses, make decisions faster, better, and more affordably uh, with the technology that they have. What would you say to the CIO, CTO, the executive at a company that is not using AI right now? I clearly see that in 10 years, every major, every important decision made in a business will be AI enabled. So those who are implementing these capabilities now are going to have an advantage. They're going to, first of all, make the, the humans working for them smarter, better, and more effective. It's also going to give them some, some uh, I believe, some economies of scale that they would not have otherwise. The data that we're working with is so massive 
that individuals cannot use at all. That transformation of using all the data that matters, uh, empowering the human to have access to that, and productizing these capabilities so that we don't have to have armies of data scientists and engineers building these systems inside these organizations. Those are things that are underway now, and in 10 years, that will be done. And all of those who got the early start will have had the, the, you know, the market advantage, the competitive advantage. As you can see, there's a lot going on here at AWS reInvent inside the Intel booth where they're working on the next generations of products and services for HPC, AI, virtual reality, and more. You've been watching Shift presented by Intel and GeekWire. I'm Brian Westbrook. Until next time.